and it's installation Monday, one of my favorite days. Today we're doing a freshwater install. It's a five foot 150. I'm super excited about this because we're doing this at a future Lego store. It's called Bricks and Minifigs, right here on Bald Hill Road in Warwick, Rhode Island. It's in between Trader Joe's and Wild Birds Unlimited. I think this is one of the coolest things. Byron came into the store, told us we wanted a freshwater aquarium for the new store he's opening up. When he told me it was a Lego store, I thought that was one of the coolest things. And for us to be able to do a Lego deco pack inside the aquarium, I mean, who doesn't want to try something like that in an aquarium? So I just want to take you guys inside here before they open, they're opening up the 2nd and the 3rd of September. Make sure you check them out for their grand opening. But I just want to show you guys one of the most fun things of being able to do this job, the new people you get to meet, and the new places. So we're really excited to be getting our tank set up in our new Bricks and Minifigs store here in Warwick, Rhode Island. Bricks and Minifigs is actually a national franchise, but there's not a whole lot of presence here on the East Coast. So we're going to be the first ones up in this region for new and used and uh, collectible everything Lego. We do buybacks and people have Lego that they want to get rid of or they're just outgrown or trying to make some room for new sets. They can bring their old stuff to us and we'll take them in and trade or give you cash for used stuff in bulk. We get a lot of people who love to come in and dig through our tables full of loose pieces for making their mocks at home. And one of the cool things we're gonna be doing here is partnering with Ocean State Aquatics to make sure we get a cool Lego set up inside our fish tank. So this is gonna change regularly and we hope you come in and see it all the time. Really excited to see this all set up once it's up and running. It's uh, getting a couple Lego sets put in and stuff like that. I think it's gonna look awesome. So the tank was a 150 gallon tank. This is all made by Planet Aquarium, Stan and Canopy. It's a very large, it's a 12 inch canopy. And the reason being is, if you guys see the outline, I made two islands with the deco and the rocks. We left the very large middle open. And we wanna be able to put in, if he wants to do any sort of Lego toys or to build like a Lego city, something we could put inside there. Now, also the type of fish we're planning this on is more community style. We're talking about rainbows and gold angels and going with that blue and yellow mix to go with the whole Lego style of the walls inside the store. Inside the tank for actual filtration is, since that's a show aquarium, not a refrigerated aquarium, we're using an FX6. I love the FX6s. They are fantastic when it comes to power in an aquarium and they're actually very silent. And I also like how they self prime themselves. There'll be two areas coming off the islands to really show movement inside the water and then picking out the fish. So now the tank's all up and running Next week, we'll start bringing in fish and have everything ready for the grand opening. 